Transformation Station Gonna be transformed Fall in love with Jesus More and more and more and more Transformation oh. About that dome, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, whoa, whoa, what do we have here? Ah, Haas, whoa. what is that smell? It smells amazing in here. What, what, you, what you got cooking up there? Well, I'm actually just practicing my technique. Oh, That's is just, it just your barbecue cologne that we smell? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what are you practicing your technique for? Well, there's this big barbecue competition, and, and I really want to win it because I can be famous and get my name on the trophy. and. And that's really important to me. That's all I'm caring about right now. Oh, well, what, what kind of trophy is it? Well, it's a big pink pig Ooh. with lipstick on it, and it's, it smells like a pig, and it looks like a pig, and that's all I want. I want it in my, because I didn't get no trophies growing up as a kid, because there weren't no barbecue competitions for kids. Right, okay, so, so what you're saying is the one thing that would bring you the most joy in the world is a giant, Pig trophy. Uh, that's right. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. I mean, a guy's got a dream, right? Yeah, that's so, right. I got a dream. Hey, that's, that's your thing. Huh. Okay. I mean, sure. I have dreams. Do you want to hear about my dream? Of course. My dream is a little better than this one. I dream of being on a stage in front of hundreds and hundreds of people singing, and they're all clapping and chanting my name, and my name is in lights. It says, Goldie and everyone loves me and then I get nominated and I win all these awards and everyone knows my name and my family is so proud of me. Yeah, that's my dream. Wow. Yeah. That, it's a little bit a bigger. Little, I, I mean, I saw your excitement there in this dream. You, you've been thinking about this a long time. I mean, in you, the way, the way you described that pig trophy, you, you've looked at it a few times, right? I've admired it from yeah. far. And, and look, I, I love that you guys have dreams and, and yes, I, I definitely have a dream and I, I, I don't want to say that my dreams Greater than yours, I mean, it gets more attention, I know. I mean, the GTA Award, everybody seems to talk about. I'm sure you and your friends talk about the GTA Award, too, yeah. right? What you, GTA? No. What's, what's you, GTA? Com, G ha ha, good, very funny. Goodest. You, GTA, come on, guys. Stop joking around with Coach here. The greatest Great teacher in America, in America Award, you know. Greatest now that I mentioned, you I mean, you understand. So yeah, the greatest teacher in America I mean, think about it. My whole life, I've been working to be the best PE teacher in America. So of course, I, I want the trophy. And I, I've finished close to the top many times, but, but never won. But this year, I mean, I've been picking out the perfect dodgeball that you can throw. Just keep working. I mean, throw. Anyway, and, and, and you know those parachutes that I got to get that parachute that's the perfect silk for the kids to run under and, and play and, 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 and just the whistle. I mean, all of it. I just want to do it so perfect because I want to win the award and I want everybody to know who I am and say, there goes Coach Jaworski, the best PE teacher in America, even the greatest. Wow. That's, so, so that's a big I got dream. a little excited. I'm sorry. You no, can tell. You, it sounds like all three of us have really big dreams to have everyone know who we are and to be famous and have awards. So, so you want to be famous, you want to be famous, and I want to be famous, and that's really what we got into. Wait a second, guys. Hold on, hold on. It's I don't know about this now. I'm starting to think like. That's making me think of a Bible story. It's like almost like I'm worshiping this GTA award. You're oh. kind of worshiping the pig. You're kind of worshiping having your name in lights. I, it just seems like there's a story in the Bible that talks about this. I'm thinking of it. I can't. Mm. Any, do you guys remember? Mm. Oh, Paul. Yes. Oh, I know exactly which one you're talking about. So what it's where it? Paul goes to Athens to yes. tell people about Jesus. That's and as he walks through the streets, he sees all the people worshiping all of these statues instead of God. And it makes him very sad. But every day he goes to the marketplace to tell people about Jesus. And some of them say, tell us more. We want to know more. And you know what? Let me read a, a, a verse yeah, from yeah, the Bible got, about it. I need it. to hear it. I, I, I'm familiar, but I need to hear it. Paul said, God made the world and everything in it. God made all the people of the world and he loves them. We are God's children. God wants people to be rescued through the man he sent to rescue us, Jesus. We know God sent Jesus because God made Jesus alive again. So some people laughed at Paul and told him he was silly, but there were some people that learned about Jesus from him. Mm, that's it. That's the story I was thinking about. Wow. Thanks for reminding me. I, you know, I feel like lately all I've done is think about 
this, this darn barbecue competition. And you know, the other day I, I was taking my weekly shower and I took barbecue sauce in instead of having my shampoo. Oh, oh man. Whoa, that that sounds been messy. Bad. Now my hair was really shiny, but that would have been bad. And then I'd, I'd, I'd sleep with Oinky every night and I want to make him feel proud about all the pigs that couldn't be barbecued. Oh, wow. And so I, I feel like maybe I've been a little consumed with with this barbecue competition. I need to get a little bit of perspective. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'm right there with you, Hoss. The other day, like I had some kids outside of my office that wanted me to teach them how to catch the, the, the dodgeball perfectly. And I, I said, I got no time. I'm working on this GTA award. And, and, and what I was doing, I, I was taking these selfies, like exactly where I'm going to put that big trophy. I mean, this trophy is huge. You can't imagine how big it is. But taking pictures of where I'm going to put it in my office and sending it to my other PET coach, friends that I have and and I was just totally losing sight of being with the kids and just doing a good job ah, so consumed you know what fellas you've got me thinking I've been doing the same thing all I've been thinking about is seeing my name and lights and and being famous and I just walk around all the time listening to my airpods in my ears and not focusing on anything but listening to music and working on my voice and practicing and I haven't even hung out with any of my friends lately I haven't asked any of them how they've been doing. They're probably mad at me and I don't even notice because I'm just so obsessed with winning awards. Yeah, it sounds to me like we all needed that verse today from that there Bible. And I feel like, you know, we should be focusing on Jesus and God because they're almighty and powerful and they deserve all of our praise and, and take that attention off ourselves. You know what? That's true. And it doesn't matter if other people know our names, because guess who does? Jesus. We are a child of God, and that's all that matters. And, and absolutely. And even though we're talking about winning all these awards, if we think about it, who's the one that gave us these gifts of barbecuing, of singing and coaching? Who gave us that? God, right? And He alone is worthy of our worship, not, not trophies or idols. And, and you, it's so true that all that matters is that we are enough for Him, that He loves us, that He gave His Son for us, and that we just have to use our gifts in a way that glorifies Him and not ourselves and, and helps other people. So ah, I'm so thankful for this Bible lesson today. Just yeah. just makes me want to pray. Let's pray. Let, let's pray. God, help us to remember that you alone are worthy of our worship and praise. You know us by name, and you love us, and you care for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so show us your technique. I want to see. Yeah, let's see what you got. Get to flipping. I don't like going through the scene. No, he should have. Turn him away. It's offensive, but yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Transformation station. Gonna be transformed.